Hello, intro to algebra students. Sorry I could not be with you today. I have a sick child. Pray for Olivia. She has a fever. Okay, I am going to show you guys quickly how to do your rotational symmetry tessellation today. First thing we start with is our square. Your square is bigger than my square. Your square should be a three by three and it should be on a note card. That was your homework last night. So, first step in rotational symmetry, if you've not already done it, is to pick a side and draw a design, just like what we did yesterday. So you pick a side. I'm going to do something easy. You all should be using a pencil. I am using a pen so that it shows up on camera. Cameron, German, pencil. Alright, so we have our design. Then cut it out. Make sure your design goes from corner to corner, just like it did yesterday. All right, we cut out our piece. It lines up perfectly. This is where it's different from yesterday. Instead of tessellating across or translating across like we did yesterday, today you're going to take your piece, put your finger on the corner, finger, corner, take your other piece, and you're going to swivel 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you're going from here, swivels down. Your piece is now at the bottom. Let's do that again, nice and slow now. Your piece is here, you put a finger, you swivel down. Once it is swiveled down, you're going to tape it. Just like yesterday, if there's any leftover tape, cut it off, trim your sides so that you don't have any overlap. Alright, trim off our tape. Tape is trimmed. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of our cut. Our cut is here. We're going to this side, so we're going to swivel our whole thing upside down. And we're going to draw another design over here. So we're drawing a design across from where our cut was. Let's do corner to corner again. I'm just going to do a rainbow. All right, so I did corner to corner. Let's cut it out. Alright, we made our cut. Once we make our cut, you put it back where it came from. You put your finger on the corner and we swivel down. Once it is swiveled down, we tape. Remember, we don't want any overlapping tape. Trim it as necessary. Line up your piece so it's perfectly lined up. And trim any axis. All right. Now the fun part. Tracing it. So, again, I'm using black. You should be using pencil so that you can correct any mistakes. We start in the middle of our paper. We trace all the way around the outside. Try not to move your hand that's holding it down as you're tracing. This part is also different from before. We can't just slide our piece. Sliding no longer works. It doesn't line up anywhere. So now we have to 
rotate 90 degrees, and then our piece will line up. And we trace. Okay, rotate 90 degrees and trace. Rotate 90 degrees and trace. You'll notice that it lines up, it will continue to line up. Okay, so you'll get your four and then you just gotta find where it matches and continue. Again, to make this line up, you have to rotate it to find where it lines up. It's not gonna just slide. All right, it's a pretty cool looking tessellation if I do say so myself. You guys, good luck, have fun. Um, make sure you color them. These are due on Friday. These are due tomorrow. You need to have them with you done tomorrow. All right, goodbye.